guys it's basha and welcome back to another video today is actually the first episode in my cooking with basha series to be honest i feel really guilty because i haven't really been going out and you know i haven't really been doing much so i still want to make up for those videos by doing something else so i decided to create a cooking with series um i am not a chef i'm not the best cook i just know how to save my life and i learned so by watching my aunt and my mommy uh, my aunt and my mommy cook four years um today my friend renee is coming over for lunch and i want to try my hand at making a um corn pie i have never made a corn pie on my own i've seen mommy make it hundreds of times and i have assisted but I never attempted it on my own. All right, so I called mommy and um, she gave me a list of the ingredients. I checked to see what I had and um, I, I have almost everything. I, however, do not have any um, cream style corn because you have to use cream style corn. I was like, mommy, I don't have this, I don't have this. But she said, it's okay. I can just use a tin of the whole corn and blend it to make it cream style corn so we shall proceed um let's make corn pie together guys um tell me again about the um the corn pie so i saute the onions and the pepper in the butter sauce right okay okay all right okay all right okay so ready the fridge these are the ingredients that i found and these are the ingredients that we are going to make work all right so i have the um cornmeal i have some mild cheddar cheese um onions of course um some sweet peppers i think this one may be hot i'm not too sure um i really hope that this um butter can work i mean it's it 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 it's a little it's a little piece left um you know i'm on my diet so low fat milk um the corn and um, i have my seasonings and whatnot over here to you know season the taste so whew, let's do this now, as mommy suggested, I added a tin of whole kernel corn to my blender, blended it up to make me some cream corn. Disclaimer, I don't know much about measurement. So don't ask me how much of anything I use in this recipe. I just cook, okay? So I added some butter to my heated skillet. I let that melt. Then I added my diced onions and peppers. I sauteed those until um, they were soft and the onion got that translucent color. I learned that from Food Network. Thank you. Um, after that, I added the creamed corn, my very own DIY cream corn, mix that in, then yeah, you know, I just like, you know, added all of the ingredients. I went ahead next with the whole kernel corn, then with the cornmeal. With the cornmeal, I added um, a little bit at a time. And I had the heat on low because I did not want it to burn. Oh, I'm and milk. Yeah, 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 yeah. I added milk too. Right. But anyway, as I was saying, I did not want it to burn and I didn't want it to become lumpy because cornmeal is like infamous for that.
Right, so I could have used a smaller pan, but I don't. So that means that my corn pie is going to be on the flatter side, but it's okay. It looks like my mother's. I mean, mommy's normally has like more peppers, but hopefully it tastes like hers and that's what's important. I have my corn pie mm -hmm. and my chicken over here. I'm going to work on my peas and my corn on the cob. This is how my corn pie turned out. Like I got distracted making another dish and left it in the oven for a little bit too long. So parts of the top are more brown than I would have liked. I know that, no need to point that out. But like, let me put a side by side comparison of what my goals were and what my pie actually turned out looking like. Now let me tell you, it tasted amazing. I am so proud of myself, like, it fell off. It was, it, it, it was hot, it was really, really good. <laughs> Thanks for watching my first episode of cooking with Vachelle. I think this is going to be so much fun. So I want you guys to leave me comments, leave me suggestions of other dishes that you think I should try. Like I'm so excited. But thanks again for watching. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video.